What's up guys? I'm Enyo and we're back with another community watch. All right guys, so to kick it off, we have our milestones and PC completed milestone 2 this week and actually Neverwinter Twitter or not twittered, they tweeted on Twitter that Mordecai at Kalon25 was actually first place in both Milestone 1 and Milestone 2. So congratulations to Mordecai. As well, they announced that the Zarios Challenge Standard Version was unlocked when Milestone 2 was completed on PC. So that's something cool. As well, earlier this week, Milestone 1 was completed on PS4. And thank you, Joe, for letting me know. Actually... That rhymes. So it's time to get on my grind, whipping out 99. I won't be left behind. All of y'all know that this is my show. Come watch with Enyo. And now it's just time for me to go. <laughs> okay, that didn't need to happen. <laughs> for guides and theory crafting, Galactic uploaded a video on how to farm favors. And he's actually ranked at number three, both milestones. So he has a pretty good idea on how to farm favors. So those could be some really helpful tips for those of you who are trying to get into the top 100. Northside uploaded a video regarding the infected mains and basically just their spawn locations and you know where they're spawning, how they're spawning, where to find them. So that can really help, especially with his next video, which is the T tier two boss hunts and the Zarya's challenge mechanics. So yes, we do have our two star boss hunts now on PC. So those infected mains are even more useful now than ever before. So Northside has that covered in both videos as well. He has another third video on the hunt locations. Um, again, tier two. So that's there. Garland uploaded a video on just going over again, the tier one hunt guides. Because in order to get the T2, you got to do the T1. So it's all one in the same. Prism and Smithy uploaded a video on how to get the scavenger armor. So if you're looking to get that, that's a good video on how to do it. Frank Geppy TV uploaded a video regarding the mythic mounts and basically the mount rework. And he just explained it all in detail. So if you haven't learned about the mount changes and the reworks and everything they added and changed regarding the mount system, there's a video for you. Regarding class builds, updates, and related content, 80 Dark Bob was on a roll. He uploaded two videos, actually this week. One was for a PvP fighter, a Dreadnought build. And then he also uploaded a video for a fighter Vanguard build for basically a Zariel build. So if you're a fighter and you're looking for either PVP or like a Vanguard instead of a Dreadnought, he's got some pretty good videos actually. They've been they've been going around since he uploaded them. So that's good. Grove Street Neverwinter uploaded a Barbarian DPS build. Again, for Zariel. So if you play a Barbarian and you're looking to increase your DPS for Zariel, Zariel's challenge, either the standard mode or the master i think it's called the master version then you can check his guide out gus archer uploaded a video for a ranger healer buff build a little bit different than i think what a lot of people play rangers but there was a lot of positive comments from other rangers and there were quite a few likes no dislikes so personally i don't play a ranger but that to me says that obviously he's doing something right and people like it so gotta mention it for PvP content, Chaotic Neutral Gaming Tours uploaded number five in their PvP tutorials. Um, basically, they just went over the scoring systems, how they work, and they also explained range markers, which I'm just saying, I didn't even know there were range markers in PvP. So I learned something new today, <laughs> not gonna lie. For events, obviously, the Harvester of Nightmares is a brand new event that just came out. Um, at least on PC. I don't know about console. I should probably stay more up to date on console. But either way, Northside uploaded a video on the event 
as well Aragon uploaded another video on the vent it's always worth watching both just because every person has different things that they look at specifically and while Northside may focus on certain things he might mention or he might forget to mention one or two things that Aragon will mention so it's always good to get at least a second video in just to watch it for recent uh content i didn't really have anything under there for developer news julia uploaded a little bit of a teaser i don't know what she's trying to say but there's some rumors and some speculation going around so we'll see uh for developer news too cryptic they did me wrong chris whiteside you did me wrong and they fixed the Stygian dock parkour hole in the wall, basically, that people were escaping through. And that could also be partly my fault. Probably shouldn't have been showing people how to do that. So, darn it, cryptic. But, eh. What can you do? For other content, Rainer uploaded a video just letting you know that there are 50 free rerolled tokens that you can claim at the reward claims agent, NPE, or just via the homepage, as long as you've completed Undermountain. But yeah, so there's some free reroll tokens, and Rainer just kind of explained how to claim them. Prism and Smithy uploaded a podcast. They've been doing podcasts, I think, every week now. So this is episode three of their podcast. It's just 17 minutes. Great to listen to when, like, in the background. When you're doing dishes or cleaning driving whatever it is whenever you want to listen to them maybe when you're falling asleep at night i don't know but that's what podcasts are good for just for listening to while you do stuff right for giveaways galactic is doing a pretty big giveaway he's giving away skeleton uh skeletal skele uh, galactic is doing a pretty big giveaway He's giving away some skeletal dog codes for PC, PS4, and Xbox. And as well, he is giving away a grand prize of a mythic mount on PC. I don't think it's for console because he doesn't really play on console. He's a PC player, but still, you should definitely check his video out and try your luck. I don't have good luck, but hopefully you have good luck. For our international panel, it's actually a pretty quiet week this week, but um, Blackstar uploaded a video on the free mount upgrade pack. Again, Blackstar's videos are always in Italian, but they do have English subtitles. Or actually, it's auto, it's auto translate, but it's pretty accurate, so you could pretty much watch it with any language you want, which is kind of nice. Next up, we have Dragon Noir. They uploaded a video on Phase Two T Two hunts and dragon noir's videos are actually in french but recently they left a comment on one of my videos i think it was my last community watch that they were adding english subtitles and sure enough when i watched the video this week there are english subtitles so i think that's really great that they're also appealing to the english community so it's another great video to watch on the t2 hunts because i know everyone's after them so there's no no reason not to check it out right uh, who do I have next? Mr. Katafi. I could be pronouncing that wrong. He's a German content creator, I believe. And he uploaded a video regarding the Neverwinter event. Basically, just the Nightmare event and the Wondrous Bazaar discounts. And as I just said, he is a German content creator. But you should click for the bunny. I don't, I don't know what the bunny's for, but I love the bunny. It's fluffy and it's cute and I want it. So, I mean, I clicked for the bunny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, that pretty much concludes our community watch. It was actually pretty short this week. Not a lot of uploads, but again, not nothing really dramatic or, you know, video worthy really happened this week. So, it's all good. It's all good. So, yeah, with that said, don't forget to subscribe. First off, I would appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment. And guys, you tell me every week, oh, you missed so-and-so's video. If you have a video that you would like to mention or add, there's a ton of channels to go through. There's a ton of sites 
Twitters, tweets, whatever they're called. There's a lot of things to go through. I miss some things sometimes. If you think there's something that should be added, link it in the comments and I can pin it. It's like, it's the best way to do it because unfortunately I'm going to miss things every week. There's just too many things for me to go through on a Saturday. So with that said, I guess ciao for now. <laughs> that was the worst outro ever.